What's up dudes, Chooch. Wanted to give y'all a quick little review of this thing. I've about got this wheel up to 2,000 miles and I literally haven't really done anything maintenance wise to this wheel at all guys. The V12 high torque has been, it's been incredible. It simply has been awesome. Um, I literally haven't turned a bolt on this wheel since I got it. I just have just gotten it out of the box, rode the piss out of it, I've crashed it, I've jumped it, I've, you know, just literally just treated it like, just like you're supposed to. I just haven't hesitated and rode the piss out of it. And uh, this is what it looks like after 2,000 miles on it. Uh, and I've just wiped it down with like a cloth a few times, but this is it. Like in its dirty form, what it looks like after about 2,000 miles. A few, a few scuffs on it. Uh, I did crack the screen on the top of it right there, but I do have a brand new screen over here. I'm gonna be putting on this thing. Check it out. So, I've had it for a while too, so I'm gonna be putting a brand new screen in there, and that's what it looks like, but no big deal. But that's the only thing that's messed up, and I did that the first day I got it. So I've been, I put 2,000 miles on it with the broken screen, and I just have kept it that way and kept this one new because I know the day I replace it, I'm not going to be as aggressive with riding it. With it broken like that, I can just keep sending it and not worry about it too much. But I'm, I plan to put on, planning to put on these new pedals and then put in that new screen and clean this thing all up and show you what it can look like after you do a little bit of work to it after you ride it for 2,000 miles. And I, I mean, I seriously think like this wheel is the best bang for your buck right now currently. I, I mean, I really do. Uh, all the other wheels that are coming out, they're just, gonna, they're just so expensive, dude. And this one's 2,500 bucks. You get you know, good range, a quality machine right here. That's, um, man, I, I've treated this thing like crap, seriously, and it has been good to me. Like, I've literally dogged this thing, and it just keeps going. I've rode it in water. I've I mean, you've seen the videos and stuff. I've jumped it, I've just thrown it in the truck, like, and it just keeps ripping, dude. It's honestly great. Uh, I've had no problems. Even running low tire pressure, guys, in this thing, the rim is held up phenomenally. There's not a single dent, divot, ding, or anything in this, in this rim. curbs and stuff where I've gotten off of it and looked at it like dude there has to be a dent in that rim and there's not it's held up great 
Uh, and I, the reason I would get this wheel over the V12 high speed just simply is because the upgraded rim on this one, man, it's a big deal. Like the, that upgraded rim is a huge factor and selling point of this wheel. I don't know why on the high speed models they don't offer the upgraded rim. I wish they did, but I really would buy the high torque over the high speed simply because of the upgraded rim. Um, with these 16 inch wheels, that was a weak point. They addressed it on the high torque, and I think it's, I think it's phenomenal. I really do. wheel with no suspension you got to have a beefy rim on it and I would definitely get the high torque over the high speed just because of that and um, that few little mile per hour difference right there that you, that you lack is so much more made up in the fun of having the extra high torque uh, the high torque is really good if you're a heavier weight rider and your low end acceleration is just it gives you a way more peace of mind um, I, I don't want to go into in depth of explaining that really, but basically, it, say if I weighed 100 more pounds and I got on the V12 high speed and I got on the V12 high torque, I would be way more confident just full send leaning in, into this, the high torque one, and taking off um, from zero as opposed to on the high speed one. It just has that low end, the torque is really there. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel the torque difference, guys, and just riding up an underpass or just deliberately riding up a little incline. The place where you're gonna feel the high torque is riding on trails and riding in the mountains and riding in elevation where it's actually made for is where you're gonna feel the advantage of that torque. <laughs> That's incredible, that thing climbed that. That's wild. Seriously, um, you're not, doing a simple comparison of torque on wheels, guys, of just trying to ride it up an incline, um, it, it's seriously, up in a concrete incline is not a good test for this thing. The high torque is, I mean, you notice it in the mountains, on trails, coming out of corners, uh, torquing for little jumps and little lips. Say you're coming down a trail, and there's like a rock, but you can hit that little rock and kind of bounce off of it and land on like the downside of a little divot. Um, this, the torque, the instant torque there is like a two stroke dirt bike. I mean, it literally is like or a four stroke, you could argue, like a fuel injected four stroke. You brat, it's like that brat, that instant power in it, so. I love it, man. And if you're doing trail riding and stuff, if you're a new rider that's not into speed, you know, I think this does everything. Do I wish it was a little bit faster sometimes for like my straightaways and riding around town and you know, when I get on the main roads? Yes, I wish it had a little bit more speed. But for the price, the form factor, um, the build quality, everything, I think sacrificing a few miles per hour on it, um, as opposed to other wheels out there, I think it's, um, I, I seriously would go with this wheel over, over a lot of wheels right now. I love it, I seriously love it. I'm on it all the time.
Anyways, dudes, wanted to give y'all kind of a little rundown of this thing at about 2,000 miles. I know I don't do like kind of like close up videos like this or showing y'all the wheel often, uh, but kind of wanted to switch it up, just, just do a little review real quick. But anyways, dudes, I, seriously, best bang for the buck right now, especially if you're a new rider and you're looking to get into the hobby. If you're looking to get a unicycle and you're torn between which one to get, I wouldn't look any further than this one. I think it's a kick-ass wheel. Anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. I'll see you dudes in the next one.